Hey guys, it's Nicole, and I have just a card and layout share for you today. Um, I was able to do some scrapbooking in the past, you know, seven days, but didn't really have time to film or edit um, layout process videos or prep videos. So I just want to show you a couple things that I made because these cards have to go in the mail, and then I want to put the layouts in my album. So the first card. And I'm sorry about the lighting, it's not the greatest right now. Um, let me see here. Does that help at all? Maybe like that? I don't know, that's the best I got right now. Um, the first card is for my cousin that's 17 years old and came to visit me in um, Florida. She's from New York and she was FaceTiming a bunch with my daughter so I just wanted to use this little FaceTime and it says call me anytime and then in the inside it says I need some FaceTime. It looks like that. So the inside's real simple because I need to write a really long note for her. But then let's see I used what collection is this? This is crepe paper or something. Hmm. Wow I can't remember. Um, but this is a paper tray ink dye. Um, this is some of that American Crafts glitter tape. These are just some basic gray brads. And yeah, that, that's it. And then I colored her with my Copic, so I'll try to show you a little bit more up close. See if I can get some light on the deal here. So that's the first card. And then, wow, I'm really having lighting issues. And then the other card is super simple. Um, my sister-in-law got her PhD in some sort of political science field, and so I just wanted to make a card so I could put her gift card that I got her in it. And so this is just that basic gray paper. Um, what was that collection that came out? Wow, I'm really not prepared for this video. I apologize. Let me look. It's called the Oxford Collection, because I just thought it looked very professional and good. Um, used... A, um, this isn't paper tray ink, this is MFT die, and then this is an MFT scallop die, and these just look like books. These are some basic gray stickers, and then it says, today's the first day of your rest, the rest of your life, and this was actually a free stamp from MFT when you spent 60 or more. So those are the two cards I made super quick, and then I have some layouts to share. Now this layout I had made a process video of and had trouble with my editing, editing equipment, so let me see, can I zoom out any? Whoa, wrong way, Nicole. There we go. That'll be a little better. Um, I use the Maggie Holmes collection. Um, that's what this background paper is. And let's see, I layered, this is a 6x6 six six paper from that collection. This was a scrap piece of paper I had left over that I used on another layout. And then this is actually a border strip from the border stickers. Um, these two pieces are from the mini album die pieces. And then in that mini album die pieces, there's a little vellum envelope with sequins. I cut it open and used the sequins here. And then I splattered Mr. Huey in Calico Shine and Heirloom. That's the other one. And these are from the Snippets collection from Studio Calico. I just used those. Some different glitter tape. Um, this is from the Lucky Charm chipboard pieces. And then this is from my Mind's Eye. And then it says... Um, well, I cut these words from one of the 12 by 12 papers from Maggie Holmes. And I just cut it out to say there are many little moments that happen in life and you are that moment. And then this is just her at the park. And I use some corners. I feel really discombobulated to do a video right now. I'm sorry. I just put Reagan down and it's Mother's Day and we just came from a Mother's Day party and my grandmother's 95th birthday. So I'm just tired but I really wanted to share a video this week. So that's that one. Then the next one is right here. And this is a photo. Here, let me just hold it up closer for you. In our new um, home backyard, we have a conservation behind, and now we have a fence up. But before we did, um, this turtle came and buried its little eggs. I, they've hatched now, so obviously we didn't block it from its its eggs. But 
it came on to land and it would just come right by our backyard so it became our like little friend that um we love to go see in the morning so i wanted to just document it this is sort of a zoomed out version and this is a zoomed in and i made them on two by threes um i used all the woodland park collection i knew it had turtles in it so right away i knew that that's the paper i wanted to go for however this background paper is from the what is that called <laughs> i'm so out of it it's like the worst video ever i'm sorry um the Midway Collection. There we go. So um, these two right here, these little um, banners were from the sticker sheet and I decided just to make a few hand cut banners. And I got this this idea of the layering um, the different labels from a recent project that one of the Two Peas in a Bucket girls did on the Two Peas YouTube channel. So look at their videos from this week. I can't remember which girl it was. Normally I have my iPad here um, to show you, but my husband's using it. And she just, in one of her layouts, made just a row using these labels. And I thought that was a great idea. So I used different labels. Um, these are little hearts from a Studio Calico sticker sheet. And then I just have some random bling. Um, this is from the Woodland Park Freeze stickers. And it says slow but steady. And then I just uh, wrote our friendly turtle. This is my new My Mind's Eye stamp. That looks like this, that I was like obsessed with those arrows and wanted to use them. So I used them on this layout. They were just sitting on my desk. Um, you know, stapled these on there. Just really simple. This layout probably took me 30 minutes to make. So that's that one. And then the last one, it, I absolutely am obsessed with this layout. I love the way it turned out. So here it is. Let me just show you the photo. It's Reagan in a huge box. And I've had this um, photo forever, but since she's wearing orange and brown, I just could never find, like none of my Studio Calico kits had paper that it went really good with, and I never knew what I wanted to use it with. And then when I bought this paper from the Atlantic Collection, I knew I was going to use it with that photo. So all I did was this background paper is from, let me think, um... What's that collection? Sherry got it for me. The D Darling Dear Collection. This paper's from there. Um, this is also, oh no, this one's Studio Calico Yearbook, and then this is Atlantic. And then I just ran some washi down the middle, my mind's eye, and then this yellow airmail. Um, and then these sticker alphas right here are from Basic Gray. I got them for a dollar at Big Lots. And these are October afternoon. These are Crate Paper Emma Shop. And then these are Studio Calico, but I don't remember the collection. So I just wrote, there are so many things to pretend when a box arrives. Because she had this huge playroom of toys, and we got a delivery of something in this box. And she played in this box for hours, and just had tea parties in there and all kinds of stuff. So I just thought that that was really cute. And like, she just got out of the shower in this photo. I don't know if you could tell. And all she wanted to do was get in that box. So all I did was I took a lot of um, Amy Tan stuff here and layered it. And then these are from the Lucky Charm collection. They're from the labels. And I just layered them all and then like sewed randomly in them. These are from the Atlantic collection. I love them. And then I have some puffy stickers. These hearts are from those Studio Calico um, stickers. I used these little wood veneers to point to her. I um, put some washi behind the arrives right here. Because, and the lighting is so horrible, I'm so sorry. It's, it's you know, like 6 o'clock. Um, the arrives right here, and so I, they weren't sticking very well in the washi, so I just sewed through it. And then I made a little cluster up here, and then I sewed in the cluster. So yeah, I love this layout. So that's what I've been up to this week. I try to get like maybe a layout done every other day, and I made those two cards one night. But um, yeah, I'm really sad that I missed Mercy Tiara's um, challenge. That was going to be my next layout, and just time escaped me. That's just the nature of, you know, how it is. But bummer. Congrats to whoever won. And yeah, I might make a little layout tonight since my little one went to bed early. Okay, talk to you guys soon. Bye.